I got a job for you. It's long hours, it's no pay, and the longer you do it, the more people tell you you're not good at it. <laughs> Welcome to parenthood. And today, I just came from my daughter's high school graduation. So I'm going through a big transition myself, just like she is in my parenthood journey. And I'm gonna share with you why it's okay to have a lot of conflicting emotions during a time like this. Welcome to Working Mom Warrior, the channel where we bring you stories and tips to give you more confidence, calm, and clarity in your life. I'm Diane Mocha, and this is my vlog. And I'm feeling a lot of different things today, but kind of more numb than anything else. And I'm almost feeling a little guilty that I'm kind of feeling numb because I should be super exuberant and excited and that's how I usually am. And I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. I stayed up very late. Um, finally finishing um, labeling all the envelopes to send out invitation for my daughter's graduation party, which I know a lot of people are not going to go because of the pandemic, but I wanted to send out announcements with the invitation and a letter updating people on everything um, going on in our lives since the last time I sent a letter like that, which was a couple years ago when my son graduated. And she had a graduation ceremony today, which I was really happy about because a lot of schools were canceling ceremonies, weren't sure what to do, and so our school had rescheduled the ceremony a couple of times, and they ended up having it in late June, and they looked at some other schools and decided that the kind of ceremony that they liked was a drive-up ceremony, which is about the best thing I think you can do right now with what's going on with the pandemic. So it was great that she had something. She could put on the cap and gown, they could say her name, she could walk across the stage, hold the diploma, get pictures taken, all of that. But man, it went by so fast. I was holding a video camera and trying to take pictures with my phone at the same time and that just did not work out and I was getting distracted and all of a sudden they said her name and I'm like I need to just focus on being here in the moment and enjoying this she walked across the stage I'm following her with the camera they take a few pictures they let me be in the picture which I wasn't sure they were gonna do they let us both take off the masks which I wasn't sure they were gonna let us do and then boom it was over I mean it was you know less than five minutes I'm sure and of course you know when you go to a regular graduation ceremony you're sitting there through speeches and everyone's you know getting impatient and you're listening to all those names but it's that pomp and circumstance that you're used to and while this was great and I'm so thrilled that her school did it, it did feel a little anticlimactic and it was compounded by the fact that my daughter didn't really want to go she didn't want to be there she really wouldn't have even wanted to go to a traditional graduation ceremony. She was kind of done with high school for a while. She didn't want to even attend her classes anymore. Her last year, she wanted to just finish online. And we convinced her to do a combination of online and in-person classes. She didn't care about ceremonies. When everything came up with the pandemic, that was actually fine with her to just stay home, not worry about, you know, seeing people face to face like teachers and not having to deal with ceremonies or anything like that. But of course, I told her today, I know the ceremony is probably as much or more so for the parents, the grandparents, the families as it is for the kids. And but I kept telling her this is your day and she's like, no, it's not. I didn't want to be here. She had to get up early to go to work and then came home and took a nap. And she was supposed to be there in the middle of the afternoon. They had everybody spread out in shifts over a six hour period because we were literally driving up and going through a line and you know, we didn't want to sit in a line for four hours. It was very well executed, but she didn't want to get out of bed. I mean, we really, really had to push and pull to, um, to get her to, to go. And so that's a, there's a part of me that is, I guess, pulled down by that a little because I want to be excited, but she's not. I'm getting video and she's turning and looking at me and saying, you know, would you turn it off? And, and that's what happens when you're parenting teenagers, not all teenagers, but a lot of them. If you have teenagers or you're going to have teenagers, be prepared for that because that could happen. 
and you know you can't take it personally and I don't but and I don't get upset but I sometimes just don't know how to deal with especially things that are anticlimactic because I have a tendency to get excited about things and so I was kind of gearing up in my mind for this for a while you know she didn't want to wear anything but her van sneakers she did wear dress she um, you know wasn't um, real prompt about you know getting ready I was making me nervous if you know we were gonna get there late and what was gonna happen and she wasn't interacting much with everyone in the family which is typical you know she's 17 and the older your kids get oftentimes the more they tell you that uh, they don't like the way you're parenting them you know they don't like your rules they're trying to be independent they think that what you're saying um, isn't right for them they think they can do what they want they try you push back it's a hard time every phase of parenting is tough and as you get older you keep thinking okay I've been doing this a while <laughs> I should be better at this but it keeps changing and I think that's what kind of made me numb is I'm I've been thinking about this for a while this whole empty nest I am NOT nervous or sad or scared about that I'm actually kind of excited I have a ton of projects and a lot of things I want to do in my career that I kind of put on hold for a while during 20 years of parenting that I'm eager to jump start and I'm getting those things going but I at the same time know that I'm still a parent and so both of my kids are going to be at college in the fall they're having in-person classes despite the pandemic but I'm gonna still worry about them and wonder how are they doing in school checking on their grades are they getting along with friends um, you know what's going on with their situation with you know a boyfriend or a girlfriend and so those things don't go away they just change over time and I think that's what kind of made me a little numb today is I realized okay there's been this big transition I've been looking forward to and I don't have to worry as much and no you know they're old enough now I don't have to take care of them they keep pushing me to do their laundry I don't have to do it you can do it yourself you know make me some food I usually do when they're hungry but I don't have to you can do it yourself you know it's a long cry from when you had to help them to put their own clothes on and do everything for them but there's still so much that goes on in your brain about your kids and your role in their lives and you still want to be involved and you want to help guide them because you always feel like oh you're going through something that I've been before and maybe I can give you a, a little bit of insight which is one of the reasons that I do this channel I like to pass that along and it doesn't mean that I necessarily know something that uh, you should do but I listen to a lot of audiobooks because I do believe in learning vicariously and people can learn from others who have been through something before even if their situation is not the same so I'm kind of in this place this funky place of you know being excited about this day it happened so fast she absolutely refused did not want to go out anywhere afterwards we'll buy you a Starbucks drink anywhere just to stop nope you know all we did was when we got back to our house she got out and opened a, a card from her grandma and grandpa and thanked them without hugs of course and and then everyone went their separate ways you know I was even taking a couple pictures which she said she wasn't gonna let me do but she did thank you and my husband was already in the house I got work to do and you know my son was um, off and playing video games and the whole thing was over and I'm dressed up and nowhere to go <laughs> so and I was just feeling in this lost place so I came to a nice place a place with trees and it's um, outside in nature and I decided to walk around and share a little and to let you know when you're feeling in that lost place it's okay that we all go through that and especially when you're dealing with those teenage years it is tough but you'll get through it and you know we're always evaluating ourselves by oh gosh did I do the right thing are they on the right path but like my daughter told me today and has told me before it's my life you can't control it and uh, some, for some parents that it's hard to let go 
but each phase along the way you do that and you just know in your heart you did the best you could and you put them in a good position to make good choices and try to find the happiness and love that they want in their life and I think she's on her way to that and I think she's going to a wonderful place in the fall and it was a good day it just was a little less spectacular than I thought it would be but I should have known that because she's kind of low-key anyways and doing something during the pandemic for a while there we didn't think there would be any ceremony so be grateful I always say we got a ceremony and I'm very happy and everyone um, got together in our little family my husband myself my son my daughter my dad my stepmom um, we went through the drive up line and enjoyed it so be grateful for the little things in your day whether they're big things that don't feel as big as you thought they would or little things that suddenly seem like they're huge just take each day be grateful for it and don't forget to spread some love to another mom who needs it I like to do that through hugging but we can't do that right now so do it another way reach out to another mom have a FaceTime call with her and let her know you're thinking about her just like I'm letting you know that I'm here for you.